Howdy y'all, Dr. K. It is 4.42 p.m. on Thursday, May 26th, and all of the week three work now has feedback in the Grade Center. Uh, some people for the journals have a video, some people have text. The only delineation is if I was able to do yours yesterday when I was in Irvine and I didn't have a quiet space to work in, you got text. If I did it today, I'm home, home office, quiet, semi-quiet, you got a video. So that's the only delineation, not playing favorites, whatever. <clears throat> I've got a couple things to share and then some really great news I think you'll appreciate at the end of this video. So. First of all, I do want to clarify something with APA because I saw all kinds of crazy manifestations of how to cite the YouTube video. And I also want to make this clear. I know for a lot of you, this is your last class. If you're in the teaching and learning program, 609 is probably your last class before you work on your portfolio and you graduate. In which case, almost congratulations, but hang on, we're not there yet. In which case, I didn't go crazy. I tweaked, if your APA was incorrect, I tweaked it just enough to let you skate by. Because the truth is, yes, there are still oh, different schools of thought about how hardcore we should be with certain things in APA. You know I'm really intense when it comes to formal papers, and that's why I like when you take the time to do it in the thread of discussions and to do it in your journals so I can give you feedback. I want you to note, guys, what you're looking at right here this, this is bulletproof. This is the absolute spot on correct way that a YouTube video, this YouTube video, should be cited. Some people cited Linda Darling Hammond as the author. You can probably skate by with that in some courses. In fact, you, you really, 99% of your courses, unless you're in CNI or getting a doctorate, they probably won't notice. But here is the truth. It should be Edutopia, because if you look at the page, Edutopia, over in the corner, here's the big video, Edutopia is who posted the video. Whoever posted the video is the author, okay? So Edutopia posted the video. It is Edutopia, period. Then the date. Why is there the extra information? You don't have to do the extra information for something that is solid, like a journal article, that date. That journal article is not going to change. But if it's up on the web and it's not in a big database, it could go poof. So in that case, yes, if you have the information, we add it. Year, comma, March 15. Perfect. Period. Then the title of the video itself. And notice Linda Darling Hammond, all capped, proper noun. And the rest of this in lowercase, perfect. No more proper nouns. Funky bracket, video file, funky bracket, period. This is bullet point. You could have written YouTube video in here or just YouTube. But honestly, guys, like this, this is publication quality. Retrieve from, there you go. This is bulletproof. So, rock on. Again, if you're six, if this is it, if 609 is your last class for the teaching and learning people, You've got your portfolio, and you're probably just going to do a site or two in each narrative. Okay. But if you're going into CNI in particular, those papers are looked over with a fine-tooth comb. So get this down. All right. Now, uh, your choice books. A reminder, use the rubric, right? Think Bugs Bunny. Use the rubric. Use the rubric. Use the rubric. You have so much freedom to be creative and have fun with this, but those components have to be in there. Use the rubric. Okay, thank you very much. Last but not least, I know it's a holiday weekend, and I know that you would like to have fun and maybe see your family. I would like to see my family. I have not seen them because I've been down in Irvine. So this is not university policy. This stays between us. Our community, speaking of social, emotional, building community, this is for our class only. So if you're taking two classes, don't, don't say to your other professor, well, doctor can't, mm, ugh, don't do that. In this class, I'm extending week four past Sunday into Monday. Our week four officially ends 
Monday night at 11.59 p.m., okay? So you have whole extra day, however you want to make use of that, to get the work done. It works out particularly well because of the choice books. And again, use the rubric. Don't forget, you have to go through the work of one other peer who read one of the books and the other book you didn't read. So the timing just worked out really well. 11.59 p.m. Monday night, okay? Tuesday morning, I start grading. Uh, now, with that said, yes, that was it. <laughs> Sorry. Really tired, guys. Those meetings, woo! So when when you guys say to me, "Oh, Dr. K, I had a really tough week," I, believe me, I am empathetic. I know. Like last week, poor Penny was sick. I understand. Okay, we're a group. We hang together, but we still we're halfway through. Come on, week five when you do your data presentations. I did have somebody ask me this. And I want to clarify it for everybody, and then I'm done. I promise. The week five data presentations, let's be clear. You have your critical friend. You guys arrange to meet however you want, over the phone. You can use Zoom.us. You can use FaceTime. You can use Skype. You share your PowerPoints. How do you do that? Post your PowerPoints in the wiki so that your peer can then download it. That way you don't have to worry about screen sharing. That way you can do it over the phone. Okay? But yeah, you gotta post you gotta post your PowerPoints. You try saying that five times fast. Post your PowerPoints on the wiki. Uh, so your peer can download them. And then however you talk it through. And remember, the depth of the feedback you give your partner, that factors in a lot to the grade they're gonna get. So both of you, come on, you guys, critical friends, really support your peer. Not just, oh, my God, everything was fabulous, but, you know, this was awesome. I appreciate you mentioned that. You know, in our conversation, I mentioned that I thought maybe another way to look at that data was this way. The more specific, the better for both of you, okay? On multiple levels, but this video is long enough. Okay. Bye. Happy Memorial Day. Enjoy the time with your families and friends. Bye, guys.